Okay then. With a very special rifle today. It's a Day State Mark IV IS Platinum Limited Edition. Uh, they only made 100 of them. And this particular one used to belong to Tony Bilas himself. What's different about this one over the others is uh, the Gary Kane stock on this one. There's a bit of a one-off because the uh, originals came in black pepper. But this has got like a a grey and a green tint to it, almost almost a forester in a way. Amazing, uh, amazing looking rifle. Uh, this one is uh, 66 of 100. Uh, now the actual specifications will be similar to your standard Mark IV IS. <coughs> uh, one of the big differences with this one, as I've heard, that uh, instead of a Lothar Walther barrel, it's an Anschutz barrel, much barrel from Anschutz. So uh, it's actually designed for uh, field target. Uh, this one's fitted with an air stripper. Uh, it's not threaded for silencer, so it's 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 a pure target rifle. And the silver on it is fantastic. Everything I've had it is to be honest. Fully adjustable uh, book pad, cheap piece, hamster. Really nice. So uh, this one's in 177, like most of them will be. Uh, 12 foot pounds. This similar shot count to uh, the other Mark Force. I think it's 150 shots in 177. 12 foot pound and 18 foot pound. It's uh, Eight shots at uh, 18 foot pound, that's it. Uh, yeah, really nice. Uh, it, it now belongs to Rob Taylor, so it's part of Rob's collection. Uh, you can understand why it likes it so much. Uh, and the fact that it used to belong to Tony, which is a, who's a good friend of, uh, of Rob, you know, really means a lot to him. So I'll look after this one like I do all his rifles. Uh, it's fitted to this one, the Vector Optics Sentinel Scope, because he, he really likes these. About 250 quid. But uh, from what Rob Taylor says, the, uh, the glass in it is really good. Like a top end uh, Nico Sterling, it's like a thousand quid, he says, pretty close. Uh, 10, 10 by 40 by 50. And it's illuminated red and green as well. Uh, I'll switch it on. Fill pressure in this one is 195 bar. It's only done 931 shots. And I think when Rob brought it off of Tony, I think Tony only put about 250 shots through it. But it's when uh, Tony used it for his. Uh, when he was doing competition. And you've got to bear in mind these rifles now was made in 2010. So we're uh, 10 years old. It's uh, it's like brand new, which you'd expect. So if you don't pay uh, the kind of money for a limited edition rifle and not look after them. Uh, because there's only 100 made. Uh, even rarer to look, find. Normally, what happens, uh, Day State will, will do a limited run of the rifles off the uh, start will go to the UK and the other off to the rest of the world. So, uh, there's not many of these about. Uh, I have seen some in different stocks, uh, Gary Kane stocks, but they're aftermarket ones, they're not, uh, they're not part of the, uh, the 100. But this this one was, but it was a uh, custom one just done for Tony, so uh, it's 
what makes it so nice. Uh, right, I'm going to do my normal stuff with this. I'll fill it up. Sand test, crano test, target test. But I might have to do the actual shooting work down at the range. Because uh, uh, it's an airstrip, it's going to be too noisy for back yard. The range is now open. Uh, on a slightly modified basis. Uh, four members can shoot at any one time. And we all have to uh, work to the uh, minimum distance of two metres. So, uh, that's working fine at the moment and that's all uh, all above board as you can uh, now see from the uh, BSC guidelines. Uh, where you can do recreational shooting as long as you keep your distance. So what I'll do, I'll test this out tomorrow and I'll test it out to the 50 yards and we'll see what kind of groups we're getting. I'll be down there early. Uh, what I will do here today is go through the uh, fill process uh, and I'll do the sand and chronographing down I'm going to do the actual range test tomorrow. But, uh, lovely rifle. Bolt action. Uh, really nice. So that is the Mark IV Platinum limited edition rifle. Got the art painting to the valve system in it. And then a fully electronic. It's got an electronic trigger release and uh, compensated technology so it works out what is in the cylinder and how much air to uh, put down the, uh, down the barrel. So what I'll do now, I'll top it up to the 230 bar, ready for the shoot. Uh, if we look on the rifle itself, it's got a, a single shot loader on this one. And a single shot trace, I just can't get on with that, my fingers are too big. But a single shot loader is better, because you can actually put a pallet through the slot and then close it back in again. But, uh, yeah, very nice. enough to keep it on. Cost the fitting so there's no need to mess around with uh, fill probe. I go straight off the, off the air tank. So that's, that's on. I swear it's not filling it. Equalises the pressure, and it was at 200 bar at that point. 220, 230. I'll bleed it off. Tighten up the bleed valve. Remove the. Uh, back on that and then put the dust cover back on the rifle
turn this on now. Turn it on. It lights up and it's showing it's actually showing 219 bar. It's set to high power, you can adjust it for high, medium or low. And you can see it's fired 931 shots. I believe that's the battery at 77%. It should fire 5,000 shots per charge. There's your serial there, look. This special edition ML 066 F100. Okay then folks, so it's official, uh, back at the range after probably nine weeks. Uh, if you remember yesterday, did the uh, preview of the uh, Mark IV Platinum. Today we're going to test it out at the proper range. Uh, it's looking in really good shape. Uh, there has been a couple of chaps in the form of uh, Cliff Kirkman and uh, Dave Oldham that's been uh, looking after the range while we've all been away. Uh, the way it works down here now is the club's open seven days a week anyway. It's a private club uh, and we're more or less open dawn till dusk. So uh, there's plenty of options for people to get down here, do the social distancing while still enjoying the sport of shooting. So uh, what we'll do now, we'll get on with the uh, first test I'll be using the BSA Elites to start off with and I'll be starting off at 25 yards and I'll take it further out then with some of the pellets to see how they're doing but uh, let's get on with it hello what's this oh dear a new target Put 
going to load it. I hope we've got it. Getting carried away already. Though. Right, this time. Actually, it's not far off at all. Have to go to the right. On four clicks, let's see what happens. I love this single shot loader. I think Rob's probably got this from Rowan Engineering. As soon as you pull the, the bolt back, the top flies open, ready to load the pallet. Actually, I just realised. Can't see the chronograph. It is working though. For the same old BSA Elite, 25 yards, 339 a tin from uh, Rams Bottoms, 499 from uh, Drapers. Obviously, you have to pay for delivery from Rams Bottoms. Same again. Just bring it down a bit. Two clicks. Hang on. Now why aren't you talking to me? If it was fitter like I used to be, the heart rate would slow down. It would be a lot easier to take the shot. Which is why it's uh, important to be fit even when you're shooting. More or less say it is pallet on pallet. It's all down to uh, the shooter at the end of the day. Like I say, I'm not fit like you, so I mean. Okay, we'll make this the last one, and we'll move on to the uh, day state uh, Sovereigns at 844. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Seventeen shots there. Let's pick two more, uh, a few more. At least we've got a good uh, chrono result there. Good average. See, I always like pallet at seven point. Five, no, uh, five, six grains. Oh, fly it. Only fly in the group. Okay, then. <clears throat> 
So that's the PSA Elites. It will look better if they survive the last three. That's the way it goes. Bad for 20 shots. Elite. Now none of these are weighed. They're straight out of 10, so there will be a variation. Hopefully not too much. Okay then, next up, Daystate Sovereign, 8.44 grams. A bit heavier, we'll see what the, uh, what the zero is like with this. This shouldn't be that much different to be honest. So it's not talking to me, but the first one is 11.6 foot pounds, 786. Okay, alright, I'm going to go to the uh, QYS Quang Sports pellets now. Chinese, see how they fit here, innit? Chinese uh, pellets. I'm going to go for the uh, bottom. Nice group. So that's the Kwang uh, Yun Sports from China, and that's what they use for their competitions. Got a good palette there. Not for everyone though. We're not all had some luck with it, but uh, not bad. Okay then. What I'm going to do now, I'll top the rifle up, put a new card up, and we'll go with the Abia pellets now. Then when I've done those three groups, I'm going to go straight out to 50 with the best from each group.
bit on. And I've got the day state field target ever at 10.25. It's hard to get over these pellets nowadays. I found them really good in rifles I've used. Alright. See where the uh, point of impact is. Go for the centre red dot. See where the groups are turned. One o'clock. Starting to pulse rate. I'm trying to do it some. It's on me. On, on, on its way back. Okay, I'm not doing any more then. They're spot on. They're only as good as I am. But uh, if it worked for me, they'd be on each other, pallet on pallet. So that is the uh, day state uh, field target heavies, 10.25. And now go on to what replaced them, which is the uh, Range Master Sovereigns. 10.3 but these are the redesigns it's uh, not actually the pellets in here this is an old tin design uh, the pellets in here is what should be in the new tins really it's one of the uh, first lots to come out right let's redo this okay Still doing Okay. Great. Go one for the centre again. And that's going to the right. Every pallet's different. That twist rate affects it. Bad, so I'm going to go for the uh, 10 mil dot on the right. I've really got used to these day state electronic rifles now. This trigger's so smooth. Obviously, it's it's a normal trigger, but uh, the release is electronic. Get a flyer. Yeah. 
only say it's a bit of a fly and it's still all in the side of 10 millimeter group that's not too bad so it really likes these day state uh, 10.3s Call it at that. Next up, I'm going to go for the uh, trust the old busy magnums. They've been around for a long time, and I find them good usually. So uh, that'll be the next up. Right, ready to roll. a five pence piece. Ten point six five grains. Like the others were more or less going where I was aiming, these are dropping off quite a bit. So I'm aiming right between the uh, five pence piece where it says uh, right between the top of the pin and the middle of the five. It's dropping that one and a half mil dots, one to one and a half mil dots. And that little extra weight shouldn't be the difference, it'll be the uh, coefficients of the pellet holder for that. Those are more bullet shaped, where these are more a pointy Diablo. Call it at that. Right, I'm going to go out to 50 yards now, and I'm going to use the Sovereigns Day State Sovereigns 10.3s because they've done the best. And I'm going to give the BSA Elites a go. We'll put the best up against the uh, cheapest and see what happens. I'll also do the, the uh, sound test at this stage.
what buoy was a zero, ain't it? 50 yards. Using the uh, fish date 10.3s. Okay, if you look at the group, there's a bit of wind on every now and again. It's a lateral uh, group as you can see. Right to left. Okay, so they've done really well. Groups, uh, the main group's 10 millimeter high, probably 20 millimeter across. Well capable of doing uh, 50 yards all inside of five pence anyway. Right, what I'm going to do now is. Uh, Put the elites through it. PSA elites. And as I said, okay then. So you, uh, these did well out to 25. But the only good at 50. We'll see. Gonna go for uh, bottom right because she's likely to be on. Well, they're, no, they're no good at 50 for long to rate. Okay, thank you. But, uh, they're not holding the group at 50. So that's a 25. They're okay. Okay, call it a day on that. Uh, right. 
I'm going to do some reactive shooting through the scope. I'll put some uh, reset targets at 50 and we'll use the uh, sovereigns at 10 points. Uh, really. uh, what I'll probably do is top the rifle up again. Might affect the uh, point of impact, but we'll see. So. Okay then, so what do I think to the uh, Dave State Mark IV Platinum? Well, fantastic rifle. Very accurate as it should be. The Anschutz barrel is really good. You get quarter inch groups out to 50 yards. Uh, as long as it's being fed the right pellets, no problems at all. Looks fantastic. Obviously, this one is a a real custom one built for Tony himself. After testing the muzzle report with the sound meter, the rifle was found to be uh, too loud for uh, backyard shooting, and that's why I brought it to the range. Pellets did quite well at 25 yards, all of them. Uh, the Quenyon Sports, looking at this view, looked like they did the best. But the sovereigns, uh, there was two flyers that you can see on the right hand side. But the main group at the 10 millimeter point were quite good. Same with the one above it. There was a bit of a flyer uh, at the uh, right of the uh, five pence piece, but uh, main main group was all within 10 millimeter. Uh, BSA leaks did uh, well as 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 well as uh, did normally. Uh, the heavier pellets tended to do a lot better. Uh, any of these would be a good choice to use through the rifle, or any rifle for that matter. Uh, came back to the day to take sovereigns at 10.3 in the end though, for the 50 yard group. Although looking at the Bisley Magnums and the uh, day to take uh, field target areas, they did really well anyway. So I could have used any of these at the 50, but in the end I went for the uh, Sovereigns at 10.3 grains. Uh, but yeah, very tight groups, all within 12 millimetres probably. 
25 yards. So we're uh, looking at the result. Pushing out to 50, the elites didn't do well at all really. They just opened up. Uh, there was two little groups going on with the sovereigns. Uh, I'm sure you could get all these within a 10 millimeter group. But at the end of the day on this test it was all within about 20 millimeters or two centimeters but uh, I'm not sure if this was my pulse rate that was causing the problems with the two groups or if it was a wind so if you can see it's a lateral uh, movement it's about a 10 millimeter high main group at two groups next to each other but quite good at the end of the day so thanks for watching the video and uh, a big thanks to uh, Rob Taylor for letting me borrow the rifle again, uh, a special edition that used to belong to uh, Tony Vilas. So we'll see you in the next video.